This abstract is the second part of a three-part series on the opposing sides of the Civil War that are being honored in the town square in Mount Vernon, Ohio. Make sure if you enjoy this video to click like. Also subscribe so that you receive updates when new videos are released. This video will be part of the Ohio History Playlist and also the Civil War Playlist. Is Mount Vernon still fighting the Civil War? Well, they are honoring both sides, it would seem. The focus of this abstract will be Mother Bickerdyke, who served the Union Army as a nurse. Born Mary Ann Ball on July 19, 1817 in Knox County, she went on to be one of the first women to attend Oberlin College, which is deserving and will certainly one day have its own abstract Ohio video. In 1847, she married Robert Bickerdyke and together they had two sons before his death in 1859. The Civil War began with the bombardment of Fort Sumter on April 12th of 1861. And less than two months later, Mary Bickerdyke began serving, beginning on June 9th of 1861. She was appointed as a field agent to the Sanitary Commission. Initially, she started out in Cairo, Illinois, where she not only served as a nurse, but organized the hospital. Her efforts gained the attention of General Ulysses S. Grant, who endorsed her labors by detailing soldiers to her hospital train. When Grant's army went down the Mississippi, Mary accompanied them, setting up field hospitals where they were needed. She continued to serve in her role until nearly the end of the war. Altogether, she set up 300 hospitals and witnessed 19 major battles, including Shiloh, Vicksburg, Chattanooga, and Sherman's March to the Sea. Mary didn't care much for military procedure. She would often go out on the battlefields after darkness fell and treat the wounded of both sides. Once when members of General Grant's staff complained about her to General Sherman, he exclaimed, she outranks me, I can't do a thing in the world. Not only did she treat the soldiers from both sides, she also treated slaves and Native Americans with the same degree of concern. Union soldiers affectionately referred to her as Mother Bickerdyke because of her caring nature. After the war, Mary championed veterans, going as far as to become an attorney to help them with their legal problems. And she even pushed for pensions for army nurses. Mary Bickerdyke was so highly esteemed by the pair of Buckeye State Generals, Ulysses S. Grant and William Tecumseh Sherman, that at the grand review of the armies held in Washington, D.C. after the end of the war, General Sherman requested that she ride at the head of his corps, and it was said that she received the largest cheer of anyone. Thank you for watching Abstract Ohio. Please like and subscribe, as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.